Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool big head effect. So I'm going to go ahead and play it right here. And as you can see, this is called the big head effect. You've probably seen it in music videos, or you've seen some different videos on YouTube. And I wanted to basically create this effect. Now this effect is definitely a lot more complicated than I gave it credit for. I knew it wasn't like super complicated, but it was definitely a little more complicated, a little more detail oriented um, than I thought. So in this video, I'm gonna kinda just break down how to create this effect. Now of course I did two versions. As you can see right here, my head like popped out and then the last clip, my head started growing. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create um, both of those different effects. So as you can see right here, here is the editing breakdown. Now on top of, top of here I have an adjustment layer and the adjustment layer um, just contains a color wheel and a color curve literally just for color correction um, and nothing else. It's literally just for color correction. I always encourage you to have an adjustment layer for color correction especially if you have multiple different clips because you're gonna have to go ahead and individually color grade all these clips it's just a lot more it's just a lot more hassle so I encourage you to use an adjustment layer for color correction you may be asking yourself okay well what's this next layer well let's go ahead and press V and enable it and it's literally just a text layer as you can see right here with the letter O and you'll be asking yourself okay well why do why would I want that well it's a way to center your image so as you can see right here here is the letter right here here is where my head is just normal and I put the O right around my nose now as you can see right here I use my nose as a way to center my head so let's go ahead and you can see right here here's where everything's normal the O is around my nose now let's go to where my head is big as you can see right there boom again not perfect like 98% perfect but there you go see the O is right around my nose when my head is big and it's the same when it's small so it's always good to find a way to um, center your head that's just really really important okay so I want to go ahead and skip this layer and go to this layer next this is a freeze frame clean plate so, and you may, may be asking yourself okay why do you need a clean plate well let's go ahead and disable it disable the clean plate actually I'll go over here so make a lot more sense disable the clean plate as you can see right there nothing happens the clean plate is just literally a shot of me um, it, it, I'm not out of the background it's literally just a shot of me so I basically just duplicated a shot of this so as you can see right here there's a, there's a shot of me standing I literally just duplicate this layer and then put it on top as you can see I'm clicking on this layer disable it enable it nothing changes so that's literally what you just want to do you want to just have a clean plate of you in the background that way your head um, can start growing and it'll just look a lot more seamless um, and you basically to create a freeze frame you just go over to the read time option and click on hold and that's how you create a freeze frame but uh, if you want to be moving obviously you don't want a, a freeze frame a lot of my videos I just do freeze frames because I'm just kind of doing the very basic entry level of how to create this effect obviously if you're moving around it's gonna be a lot different but I just want to first go over the basics of how to create this effect so as you can see you just want a clean plate literally of just you standing and then you just duplicate the layer right here so these this layer and this layer is exactly the same nothing is edited I mean unless you go further on the clip and right here is just a music track um, from epidemic sound so let's go ahead and play it right here okay so how in the world does, do you, does your head start to grow so as you can see right there how do you create that effect well you head over here to the clip and then what you want to do is you want to create a draw mask because you can see here is the draw mask I just cut myself out it kind of looks ridiculous because you can see right here here is the draw mask obviously you can mess with feathering everything like that but there is the draw mask so let's go ahead to the effects panel right here mask and as you can see draw mask and you want to apply the draw mask onto your head and that's literally what you're just doing now how do you make your head um, pop out well let's click on the clip and what you're doing is you're just keyframing it so we're just gonna go from one clip so start at this clip start at the very beginning of the clip and then you want to keyframe positions and keyframe scale at the beginning of the clip you want to keyframe the positions as you can see there are the yellow marks keyframe the positions and key or keyframe the position and keyframe the scale now 
what I just did was then I went like one, two, three, four frames. So I went four frames. You can go three, four, five frames, whatever. But I encourage you to just go three or four frames. And now we're to the middle. And now this is where my head's gonna start growing. As you can see right here, it's still keyframe. So I literally just increased the scale and then I messed with the position. You'd be, you'd be asking yourself, well, how in the world do I know the correct position and the right scale? Well, what I did, what I actually did was I actually didn't start at the beginning like I told you. What I did was I actually, um, you, I actually just uh, cut up myself with a draw mask and then I increased my head and moved it around before I keyframed it so I had a general idea where the position was. I wrote down the positions again in my notes on my iPhone and then when I came to this part I knew exactly the position and exactly the scale. So I encourage you before you keyframe or do anything like that, make sure you first literally just um, move your head around, scale it up, and create the position so it makes sure it's centered. Obviously, this is all going to change if it's different. Um, no matter where you obviously, this is, your head probably isn't going to be in the exact position where I am. Now, let's go one, two, three, four frames, and then we basically just keyframed it back to normal. So, as you can see right there, everything is keyframe back to normal so that's literally what you're doing you're literally starting here where your head is normal you're cutting it out with a draw mask and then at the beginning you're keyframing your head all at zero zero one hundred because we're getting your keyframing and then you go one two three four frames and then you increase the scale and you increase the position and then you go one two three four frames and then you keyframe it back so literally this part right here is literally just my head being keyframed via a draw mask and then as you can see right here how do you create this effect well i went at the beginning and did the exact same thing i keyframed the position and keyframed the scale and then i went to the end went back one frame and as you can see right here I literally keyframe the position and I keyframe the scale. So literally what you're doing is you're literally just applying applying a draw mask onto your head. You want to make sure this layer and this layer is duplicated so you have a clean plate in the background. And then literally what you're doing is you're choosing a draw mask, cutting out your head, and then you're just keyframing for the head to grow bigger or the head to grow smaller. It's literally just keyframing. You're literally just keyframing the head to go big or the head to go back to normal. That's literally all you do literally just a basic draw mask and basic keyframing so that's how you create um, that effect definitely isn't like a super simple effect but it definitely it takes a lot of time to create this effect anyways thank you so much for watching this video if you want to see more final cut pro 10 tutorials make sure to hit that subscribe button i have a final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with almost 80 final cut pro 10 tutorials i upload new final cut pro 10 tutorials every single day at 10 a.m see you guys in the next one peace